Good morning, grandkids. Hey, my name is Slade. Slade the Shadow Man, to be exact. Actually, my family's name is Shadman. But since my lifestyle is what it is, I thought Shadow Man sounded pretty cool. They'll never know. I don't even know where they are. I joined the Thieves Guild they've got in Riften because I saw some guy walking around in this armor. I thought it looked pretty sweet. Figured they'd give me a set if I joined. Of course, they wanted me to do things for them and split the loot or receive a low payment. Well, I'm not a sharing kind of guy. So as soon as I got the armor, I split. <laughs> They'll never come looking for me. And I'm never going back to Riften. So, free armor, no work. That's what I call good business. <laughs> so, here I've got free armor. And look, I found these two daggers and they are sweet. They do a fantastic job. Let me tell you. Wait till you see them in action. Here, let me show them to you. Whoa. There's one. And there's one. They both absorb 25 points of the enemy's health, and I receive health when I use them. And when I do all well them, man, they need to watch out. Oh, and this is my little abode here behind me. I found it abandoned. Truly, I didn't do anything to anybody. Anyway, it was abandoned, so I just moved in. Squatter's rights and all that, whatever. I don't do much here, just a place to sleep. Cook me up some food. I do like to eat. And keep my armor and weapons and some decent repair. Come on, I'll show you around. I got this nice little cooking area over here and storage for my foods. Look at that meat on there. I told you I do like to eat. Got me a little desk in here, a place to store my books. If I ever get any. Weapon racks, place to sit down and eat. I wish, I wish this was a little seating area over here in front of the fire, but I guess we can't have everything we want, right? Now here's my workspace down here, which is a pretty sweet setup, if you ask me. But now this area over here, I won't be dealing too much in alchemy and that kind of stuff. I do have a place to enchant some weapons, though. I like this little place because it fits my few needs, and it's convenient between Riverwood down one side of the mountain and White Run down the other side of the mountain. I might try enchanting a few weapons from time to time, but I 
gotta get up some skills first. My skills are in an entirely different direction, you know what I mean? Here's my little sleeping area up here. A few places for storage. Which I don't need much, let me tell you. Plenty of storage everywhere in here, really, for my needs. Oh. It's a slight downstairs where that alchemy area is. Plenty enough storage, but I don't I don't need much of it. Just food, metal ingots, and leathers. That's about all I need storage for. And I don't hoard stuff. What do people do? do with it all. You'll never see me prancing around through flowers or picking berries, let me tell you. <laughs> Whatever comes into my hands, if I can't eat it, wear it, or fight with it, goes right back out of my hands for money. It's all about the money, baby. I'm a travel light kind of guy. Yep, my life is free and easy. Easy, let me tell you. You wouldn't believe how flimsy most people's door locks are. Slip in on them while they're sleeping. Most anything they have is yours for the taking. I've gotten coins and even jewels that they leave right out on a table just waiting for my hands to find them. <laughs> Life can be sweet. Oh, I've spent my time in jail. But it's only been a few days at a time. That's easy time. I remember one time, though, I got really bored sitting there. So, I picked the lock. And no, they hadn't searched me very well. And I just walked out, past a snoring guard, and left. I guess I could take my hood off for a while, but you know that helps me sneak around in the night. Let you see my handsome face. Whoa, that didn't work right. <laughs> there I am. That slayed. Let's walk back outside. I wonder what time it is. Look at that beautiful sky. Man, this place up here is great. I'm gonna love living up here when I'm home. <laughs> when I'm not out letting my fingers wander through people's stuff. I got a funny tale for you. I remember one house I slipped into one night that was more fun, but more tense too. The man and woman were sound asleep. But then I saw a little kid in her bed across the room, wide awake, staring at me, watching my every move. My start, my heart started racing a little bit, let me tell you. From time to time, I'd give her a smile, put my finger on my lips and say, shh, like we was playing a game. She never made a peep either, just followed me with her eyes, giving me a little smile once in a while, like she was in on the game. 
At one point, I bumped into something and she went, shh, and giggled. Man, my eyes darted over to her parents, but they didn't move. Man, I drew a deep breath when I got out of there, let me tell you. I just took off straight out of town. I won't be going back to that town. That kid would recognize me in a heartbeat. <laughs> okay, I thought I'd mosey on down the hill and see if there's anything good at the mill or the farms down there. At least I could pick me some veggies out of their gardens and milk a cow or two. <laughs> yeah, I'm a milk drinker. Get over it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go mosey on down the hill. But... So you guys are going to have to leave. Uh, I can't take anyone in people's houses with me. Y'all would bungle the job up. Anyway, I'll see you next time, guys. Come by and visit anytime you want. I might be here. I might be gone. I might be asleep. <laughs> see ya. Bye-bye.